1994, women started a new thing. A-L-O Taisha was the one who kind of really brought all four of us together because there was a big issue with the fact that I was trying to tell Taisha that, you know, that Jesus loves her and, you know, have you ever thought about giving your life to Christ? And, and so the only thing I knew to do at that point was to get the nearest Christians that I could find because I felt like I was losing her. And so, I, you know, I just ran through the restroom and asked Don, and said, could you please come here and help me? You know, she's just, she's not getting it. Maybe I'm not explaining it to her. And so then that's when all, that's the first time that all four of us really got together to get an understanding of what it really meant to be a Christian. So everybody had a different perspective and everyone had a different way of explaining it to Taisha. We need to, we need to be who God made us to be and we need to be bold in our faith. There are people out there who don't know what it is to have faith or to trust in Christ. And, and we may be that only Bible that they ever see. And that's truly the whole point of an ALO organization is to show people Christ, to represent him in the earth. And we need to do that by being ourselves. I would just encourage women to be who God made you to be um, and, and shine that light and that love of Christ. Wherever he wants us to be, that's where we'll be. It's quite obvious that whether we wanted it to continue to exist or not, God said differently. Whether we as founders were there in the midst or when we decided to walk away and let somebody else handle it, God continued to keep ALO going no matter what. So it's not what we want at this point. It's wherever God wanted it to be. Yeah.